So after embarrassing himself during the presidential debate between President Biden and former President Donald J. Trump, a lot of people started uh, speculating that, okay, this is the end of President Biden, that he shouldn't be contesting again to be re-elected. But the guy said, no, I will make sure to be re-elected as the president of America. And a lot of people were like, no, you are too old to be the president of America. You can't, like... You can't even assess yourself. You don't have the mental capability. You don't have the physical strength to be the president of America. You've been messing up on a daily. There are a lot of pictures of you falling down. There are a lot of there are a lot of images that speak highly of your ill health. It is time for you to step down from the presidential race. But my guy said no. But what happened, guys? It is with great pleasure that I am here to announce to you that as of minutes ago, President Joe Biden just announced that he is dropping out from the 2024 presidential race. So guys, did this come as a shock to any of you? Because for me, I know definitely it is not a shock to me. A lot of speculation have been going on. A lot of uh, controversies have been going on. A lot of people have been saying, no, he's going to step down. Uh, uh, Obama's wife, uh, Michelle Obama, is the person that is going to replace him. But uh, during his speech which I'm going to read out to you. He kind of made a statement about how Kamara Harris has uh, helped him. And a lot of people started speculating, okay, maybe this is his way of endorsing Kamara Harris as the next presidential candidate for the Democratic Party. But uh, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. But before we do that, let me just read out the letter that he wrote of his dropping out of the party. So, listening to this, Joseph R. Biden Jr. as of July 21st, 2024. It reads, My fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. We've made historic investment in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors, and in expanding affordable health care to record number of Americans. We've provided critical needed care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substances, passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman in the Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate registration in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. I know none of this could have been done without you. The American people. Together, we overcame a once-in-a-century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We've protected and preserved our democracy, and we've revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president, and why it has been my intention to seek re-election. I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. I will speak. To the nation later this week in more detail about my decision for now let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me re-elected i want to thank vice president kamara harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work and let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the american people for the faith and trust you have placed in me i believe today what i always have that there is nothing america can do when we do it together we just have to remember we are the United States of America. Signed, Joe Biden. Okay, guys. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. Who do you think President Biden is going to nominate? Or who do you think is going to replace him for the Democratic presidential election? Let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are.